back to my channel, Darlisa's Daily Deets, where I discuss everything from fashion, beauty, to lifestyle. And as you can tell by the title, this is going to be none other than a Bath and Body Works sale haul. Well, semi-annual sale haul. Let me, let me correct myself. But yeah, so... I picked up some items while I was at my local Bath and Body Works because it was that time of year again. And I know you guys love to see these kinds of videos. And before we get started on what I got from Bath and Body Works, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because of course you don't wanna miss when I'm posting videos like these. Like these. And then to ensure that you are seeing my videos, make sure you hit that notification bell if you have not already because you don't wanna miss when I post these videos. And then last but not least, make sure you guys are liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff because of course that's the way that I am able to know what you guys wanna see. That's the way that I'm able to give you guys feedback and I get to interact with you guys, which I love to do as well. So without further ado, enough rambling, we are gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so this time around this year, I did not do as much damage as I think I did last year, but I did do some damage at Bath & Body Works because of course I had the coupon on top of the fact that I went ahead and was you know, able to get some of the items that I needed to replenish in my collection for a really, really nice price. So all together, I wanna say I spent about $28 for all the items that you're gonna see here today. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start off by saying the only thing that I got was soaps, like the body washes, I should say. And then I got the uh, wallflowers because last year I waited too late and there weren't, there wasn't much of a selection left on those. So I went ahead and just picked up as many as I could in the fragrances that I think that I liked to add to the collection of stuff that I already have here. So yeah. So I was running out of bath soap. I was down to my last one from the haul I did last year around this time, I wanna say. Yeah, so that stuff lasted me a full year. So if you guys are out here just buying, 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 you don't gotta do all that. <laughs> because I bought maybe about four or five and they lasted the full year for me at least. So I don't know. But the first one that I picked up that I wanna talk about is this snowy citrus swirl which smells really good. Mm. Has a really nice like citrusy smell, but not too overbearingly citrus. And um, this was 75% off of $12.50. So you guys do the math. Plus I had a 20% off coupon. So you guys get where I'm going with this. Like we're talking $2 and some change for each one. <laughs> The next one that I got was a ice pear margarita, which I was really surprised. I was expecting to only be able to get like real seasonal type stuff. So the fact that I was able to get stuff that wasn't just Christmassy was also an added bonus. But yeah, this one smells really, really good as well. And again, same price, 75% off, couldn't beat it. The next one is this agave papaya sunset another kind of fruity fragrance that i felt would be good as we're going to be heading into spring and maybe those summer months yes this has like this really nice it's not too overbearingly sweet not too you know it's just not too perfumey but it's just those perfect little nice subtle scents to me that also give a little bit of that extraness that you need, but not too much. So that's why I went ahead and picked these up. These smell really nice to me. And again, good price. And then the last two are gonna be more of just the ones that I'll probably be wearing more uh, like towards the, like while we're in the winter months, which is this almond blossom. And for some reason I've been on this almond scented kick. And I would never in a million years thought that I would like the way that almond things smell. But for some reason, I'm really feeling this. So let me go ahead and just, it's just so nice. I love the way almond things smell. It has like a really nice subtle scent. It's hard to explain the smell of almond, but if you have not smelled anything almond yet and you've been on the fence about it, do it. Smell you, it's like any, like any type of almond scent. And it just has, it's just something about it that just gives you like this nice clean, it's definitely not citrusy, it's not floral, it's like, 
it just has that grown woman scent to it. So that's why I've been really feeling almond things. And then the last one, of course, is just a popular one. I think this is one that they come out with every year. This is Sweater Weather, which I was really surprised that they had marked down to 75% off because um, this is one of those ones that, again, it just has like that scent that, yeah, it's like one of those scents that it's not too fruity, it's not florally, and it's not like just it's not too manly it's just right in the middle of that nice grown woman scent that you need to carry you through those winter months so sweater weather i actually really really like this one a lot because and then it has apple in it which you can really smell the hint of the apple and i love apple things apple flavor things yeah i just i'm a big apple person so that could be the reason why i really really like this one but it definitely gives you like fall winter vibes and again, 75% off, so I couldn't beat that as well. So that concludes all the soaks that I got. Now, I definitely did have to pick up some of the wallflowers because those were a good deal as well. Those were on sale for $3 with um, the coupon. I think I had a 20% off, so that brought them down to like $2 and some change, which is a really good deal. So I went ahead and grabbed some of those as well. The first one that I got was a sweet cinnamon pumpkin one because I like for fall and winter months for my home to have a nice little, you know, I like that kind of spicy cinnamon scent in my home all through like the winter months. That's like my signature scent. When people walk in here, they're like, hmm, it smells like somebody's cooking something. That That's the scent I'm going for. The next one that I got is a pineapple mango so of course i had to think about the fact that once the months progress <laughs> i'm definitely not going to be wanting to smell cinnamon and pumpkin and stuff anymore so i would say probably like march april is when i really start to kind of get into the more fruitier type scents in my home not anything crazy i don't like to walk into a home smelling like a uh, think of starburst but i do sometimes do like the tropical smell so this will be perfect for that time and then this is a tiki mango mai tai which again will pair really nicely with this one um i have like the dual type uh diffuser whatever you want to call it and i think sometimes when you put certain ones together they give off a really really nice balance of the two scents so i think these two together would be really really nice then i have a sun ripened raspberry and this one actually also may pair well with um one of those mango ones so again like i said i really was trying to think ahead when getting these because i feel like what was happening was a lot of these would be out of season that I would be buying. Like, I'm like, oh, wait, maybe I should have, you know, not got as many Christmassy type scents because I, you know, you only could use them but so fast. And I still have some left over again, like from last year. So I really was trying not to overdo it this time, but I think this would be really good going into the spring months. And then, oh, last but not least, one of my favorites is the Cinnamon Caramel Swirl. I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, this will pair obviously nicely with that pumpkin one if I'm doing both of those. But then these are the scents that are gonna be carrying me into, you know, that's, you know, those, these are the ones I'm gonna be putting in once I'm done with the ones I'm using now, you know, to get me through this, like, you know, January, February months. And then once March hits, that's when I really like to break out my spring scents. And then I have one more item that I actually was kind of surprised that I picked up, but I don't know, something about them. I've been wanting to try some of these. And these are those super cozy comfort shea infused socks. I just thought the print on this was super cute. And I know like I have like an overabundance of these types of socks, but they were $8.95 with 75% off. Plus I had a coupon. So I'm like, I can't beat that. And then I just loved, loved the color of them. They didn't give me like super Christmas vibes either. So that's another reason why I picked them up because I don't feel like I'm limited to just one season with these. And then I, I don't know, I've been wanting to try, I'm like, does the shade cause your feet not to get ashy or something like that? So I don't know if you guys have tried something like these, but I'm just curious about that. Cause I'm like, yeah. So the fact that they were just really inexpensive and 
I don't want to try them. I picked these up as well. And yes, these are at Bath and Body Works. So I don't know if your local one has them, but I haven't tried them out yet. But I'm going to assume that they're okay. But I definitely wanted to haul them for you guys. So this was the last item that I picked up from there. Okay, guys, we are now officially at the end of the video. And as you can see, yes, I am still wearing the same outfit from the last video because I told you I have to get these videos pumped out for y'all because I'm about to give birth any day now. And I don't know when the next time I'm going to be able to record is. So I went ahead and I just got everything out that I could for you guys. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I will definitely be excited and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.